Superior Spider-Man number two. I actually thought that the issue was called Shut Up. It sued up. I was just going to yell shut up to you. <laughs> I might say that later. But we ended up. It's written by Dan Slott. Pencils by Mark Bagley. Inks by John Dell. Letters by VCs Joe Caramagna. Again, I feel weird because... The idea of a lot of people hating on Dan Slott so they won't read things, whatnot. Me and you like the first issue of mm-hmm. Superior Spider-Man enough. You like the Spider-Man series that this came out of and, and all that stuff going on. And Spider-Boy came out of as well. I like so, all the Dan Slott Spider-Man yeah, stuff. Yeah, you like that. So when yeah. we get into this, I, I don't know. Again, I think it's weird to have this book and Spider-Boy come out the same week because you have Spider-Boy a lot in the Superior Spider-Man. It's okay. I think you're going to like this more than me as we go through it. Just again, it's one of those issues where two, you know, two issues in, and I feel like we're running out of steam a bit. And I'll also say that in the Spider Boy, but we'll, we'll save that for when we fight about that one. But this whole play of Supernova, this villain that has, a, I thought it was a clever play. Mm-hmm. You end up where Supernova comes out of this chamber and hates Spider Man. But it was actually Ock as Spider-Man during the Superior Spider-Man deal. That's a really funny play, especially when Ock was laughing. Like, oh, my, she's like really (laughs) hates me, but she's going to go after Spider-Man. Now, at this point, we've had the idea where Doc Ock was shown a picture from one of his, you know, drones. His what do you call them? I mean, it is his tentacle drones when they separate and go up. Came back and. This one seemed to be goofing off a bit. It was like a little bit of a slacker and came back where everybody has this info. And this one was taking pictures of Peter changing (laughs) out of the Spider-Man outfit. Like it was like, ooh, let's get this. And when Doc Ock sees it, he was mad to add it. Isn't it like Octoids, I think they're called? Yeah, Octoids. So he ends up like one of the Octoids. He's like, what are you doing? Why? I didn't want this. And when he sees this picture, boom, it triggers every coming back he yells i remember everything so he remembers being superior spider-man he remembers being peter all that stuff which okay that's cool enough but Mm -hmm. what are you going to do with it what are you going to do with this supernova because supernova trying to take down peter that's fun and all but either you're going to have peter have to stop her or i don't know what else i just it's one of those things that i think it felt clever at one point now i just kind of need it to go away it's not as interesting now Though at the end, you're going to have Doc Ock team up with Peter to go take her down. But like I said, it still ends up almost feeling like that. Oh, it's the Doc Ock sins of the past here. We got to go and, you know, take care of this. But I don't know that I need that many issues for Supernova. In the meantime, though, there's a big fight going on downtown. And the only one who kind of knows the whole situation is Anna. Anna gets in a cab. This cab driver is the villain of the week. I mean, this guy <laughs> is awful because yeah, he's bad. She's there, and it is like if you look at the crowd, like people are like milling around more than there's, I think they ever would be. You know, the, it, it, where's this cab going? Why is she getting in a cab? Because there's it's not going anywhere. There's people everywhere, and she says, "I got to get to Times Square." And they and she, the cab driver's like, "We're not going to be able to get there." Radio says Spider Man's fighting some crazy fire lady there. It's not quite, but still. To me, I don't know. To me, the idea of Spider-Man fighting anybody is just another Tuesday in New York. I mean, Uh the things that have happened in New York with this. And so there are people seem to like, hey, we got to get there and take pictures. I don't know. But you're right. Why did she get in the cab? The cab's not going unless this guy, maybe she thinks this guy is a piece of crap and will run over people. No, he's just a piece of crap who tells Anna at one point, get the (laughs) F out of my cab and kicks her out. And Anna, I think, is really trying to shame him because if I mean, most people would know. But if you don't, she's a dwarf. She gets out and yells, my tiny legs. And I'm like, "Ooh, she's really (laughs) giving it to him. Like she wants to make this guy feel like a real piece of crap. But she gets out and says, oh, my tiny legs. And against the crowd, this might take a while. It's weird because you're you're kind of setting up a timetable for when she does, but she doesn't really show up late. This is a weird no. She makes play, her way right? there. Yeah, yeah, she makes her way there. So why have this? Why really? I know you want to show that she's on her way and she has info. And she says at one point, this cab driver's just like, "Hey, lady, what's it to you?" And she's like, "What? You don't know me." Anna Maria Marconi, I'm Spider-Man's friend. And that's what the guy's like, Spider-Man's friend, get the hell out of here. 
kicks her out, but it's such an odd play. Yeah, she goes, uh, get me to Times Square where you and I can save him. Hey, lady, you're nuts. Get the F out of my cab. Yeah, really. The guy's like, <laughs> save him? Like, I'm just here doing my job. I don't know, man. I think, I'd, I think I'd do the same thing. Get out. Here's how bad I am. I'm looking. There's a lot of people, right? Anna, she does look fancy. She's in a nice outfit and stuff like that. She's friends with Spider-Man. I'm thinking that this fair is going to take so long. And look. Oh, uh, you're going to make money on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then when we get there and she's like, all right, let's go. I'm like, Arr! I wouldn't even. <laughs> I'd push her out as I'm going. I'd come to almost a stop. I'm telling you, I get that fair. And I'm like, you deal with this crap yourself. And I'd split, but I'd get paid. The funny thing is with all those people in the street, it, it probably is quicker for her to walk. So I don't want to say it, but maybe she's just lazy. Anna is lazy, she said. But she gets out. She's going to make her way. It just gives you a time before she ends up showing up. But you could have done that with just the cab stuck in traffic. It's weird. Just yeah. to make this guy a, a, a bad guy. But you go downtown then, and the big fight is that Supernova is fighting Spider-Boy at this point. Remember, Peter went off. And thought, okay, she doesn't know Peter Parker. She only know, but then she does anyway. That that kind of is foiled in a little bit. But she's after Spider Man. If he takes the costume off, he just assumes it is a weird assumption. She'll just go away. She won't do anything. She'll say, oh, Spider Man's not here, but Spider Boy is. And she's now saying, I'm gonna make Spider Boy tell me where Spider Man is. I'll grab Spider Boy. She at one point is like close to killing. Bailey a couple times yeah and then out of nowhere stops and i don't know if this is supposed to be that she's a little unhinged because of all those years in that if you really if she really talked the spider boy i think they could become friends because they have that weird play of being forgotten now she end up where she's in this deprivation type nuclear chamber where bailey just kind of got erased from the timeline but they still have that issue of being forgotten and it might have been something, but... You could see her totally turning into a hero of some type. Uh, she's just misunderstood right now, and she's also learning her powers. I'm not so sure that that's not what we're getting here. Yeah. And I don't know that I love it. I don't <laughs> know that I care to have her as, you know, Supernova as a hero. I don't mind. Send her out to space. She can do Guardians of the Galaxy I'm saying, stuff. If, if you end up saying, hey, Supernova, you're a hero. <laughs> we never see her again, then I don't care. But I don't know that I need her all the time, right? Because really, she is really against one. If she can figure out that she's really against Doc Ock, which is going to be a weird. How do you explain that to somebody? But if you, you did that, then she would realize that, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm actually a hero. I'm against a villain. And when she's beating me, she puts Bailey in the hospital, but pulls back at one point and says, hey, I really don't want to do this. It's a weird turn where she's like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't really know my powers yet. I, I didn't mean to be that crazy. I'm sorry. And it felt weird. Then she gets mad again. Then she says she's sorry again. To it's just a weird play, but it does feel like Dan Slott is trying to make her a little more sympathetic where what she should, what, what Dan Slott should be doing and probably will going forward. You got to get Doc Ock in the mix being really bad. You got to get somebody worse, and that's Doc Ock. Have Doc yeah. Ock just ripping her apart. And then she can yell out her story and you forgot me, you did this to try to, you know, get us on her side versus Doc Up. If she's fighting Spider-Boy, and I know Spider-Boy, not the most popular character with everyone, he's a little kid. You can't have somebody just beating up a little kid and think anything good of them. So you have that going on, but she does pull back, but still puts him in, in, in the hospital. Yeah. But as that's going on, you have where Peter... Ends up where he's trying to figure out what he can do. He realizes, oh, God, I thought that she would go away, but now she's just attacking everybody else. So I got to go do something. I got to get my stuff and get back to this. Doc Ock, knowing who Peter is now, grabs him and just starts choking him out and starts yelling. I know everything. I, you know, Spider-Man, all that. And really, the only thing that does pull him out of that a little bit, first off, you know, Anna does show up at one point, but Spider Boy is in big trouble. He is gonna get killed, and they mm -hmm. have to end up saving him. So Peter, then, while they go off, Peter has to figure out what he's gonna do. He doesn't have his costume. He doesn't have a thing. I like when Doc Ock and him are fighting, and you end up where Doc Ock's. Oh, you don't have your gizmos and gadgets. He's like, I don't need them. I'm, I'll fight you if I have to, but I got to get back to Bailey. And there's a little bit of shade thrown where 
Doc Ock is kind of funny where he's like, listen, you should have done what I did. Shun him. And kick him the hell out. Like, that, that's what he did. He's like, I got rid of that I did that like kid. that so, part. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Anytime anybody shuns anybody, I, I, I like that. I and what I like about it is usually anybody else talking would have said, hey, Peter, why are you getting a little kid involved in the – no, no. Doc Ock just says, like, I shunned him and, you know, kicked him to the curb. That's what you should have done. <laughs> you end up Peter going and he has to figure out if I fight this supernova, like, I'm just going to have to attack or – as Peter Parker, I'm going to have to go at her. And when that ends up going on, you just get Doc Ock gets involved. You get Anna involved as well. And it is funny where Anna, we said in the, she is drawn like, looks like a five-year-old kid. Yeah. Instead of what we, but that's, you know, each artist. But when you see her there, you're like, oh, again, you're going to have Supernova go against what actually is a dwarf, but still looks like I'm like, you are, they're not good optics right mm-hmm. now with the Supernova. In the meantime, you do have Doc Ock show up and Peter kicks him in the balls. <laughs> what kind of hero does that? Because, <laughs> like that again, Peter's desperate. He has Anna there, but they're trying to save Bailey. And when he, he kicks him in the balls, he's like, I'm a desperate hero, Doc. He goes, do like Homer does. So all this going on, you still have Supernova just, you know, talking crap. Where is Spider-Man? Where is Spider-Man? Yelled it to Spider-Boy. Where is he? He's like, I don't know. I'm Spider-Woman. Sidekick. He tries to get out. <laughs> then ends up where we realize that hiding as Peter Parker doesn't really work because when Doc Ock was Peter Parker, He's the one who suggested with Anna to go work for Spider-Man. So he's like, you tech yeah. guy. And he, she's so mad at him now. It is kind of funny, the escalation of all this uh-huh. nonsense. But you have this deal now. We talk now. Supernova, who is Australia Lopez, is smart. I mean, the reason why she got thrown in that whole craziness. She's a genius. Is she's a genius who figured uh, Doc Ock treated her like crap. He ended up taking her research. She was just trying to help. She was like an intern kind of side, and she kept suggesting that deal. We should do this. We should do this. And Taka, I don't need to talk to you. What we're going to do, and then just did what she said. So she does know things. And so when Anna goes and actually Peter's yelling, he has the web slinger on his one hand, and Anna is smart and covers it up. She uses both her hands to cover yeah. it up. And we said, well, with maybe she would know because she was working with Spider Man, but it, it just kind of felt weird that. He covered this up, even when the idea is he's connected to Spider-Man anyway. And so in this, the best play of this and makes me laugh so much. It doesn't play out yet. But the idea, because when Doc Ock was Spider-Man, it was Anna and Peter, but it was Doc Ock. And Mm -hmm. so when you end up Supernova grabs Anna and says, I'm taking you and you better have Spider-Man come and find her or I'm going to take care of her, you know, a whole kind of kidnapping deal but ends up yelling if you want your girlfriend to be okay like yelling at peter it made me giggle that doc Ock will probably lose his mind uh but takes anna away in a way and you said one of the things is is that supernova still trying to learn her powers i mean and they're you know pretty much you know extreme i mean the power of a star that you didn't have a day ago i mean trying to figure that out but takes anna away and then peter oh my god and then spider boy bailey is he's wrecked he has to get taken to the hospital now do you find it weird that peter did not take off his costume at all like when he takes spider boy yes. he has to get him there quick the only thing then that dan slot kind of makes it work because nobody knows who bailey is and he's not on you know record of yeah no fingerprints no anything that's a problem too though My, even though kids like that i mean there's a lot of why would they be in the system a lot of time? I don't know. He's visiting from, uh, you know, somewhere a different country. You know, yeah, he's not I wouldn't have had him in that Spider-Boy costume, though, no. when he went in. I would have taken that <sighs> off. Oh, yeah. He's like, I hope he has something on under here. He goes, I do like, though, when you see him on that bed How as they're he going, is. he's so small. They really, yeah. that's a really good perspective to see, like, how big. But there's got to be people because... People seem now to know, even mention, oh, that's Spider-Man's sidekick. Oh, my God. Whether or not they can get him in the system, with the, but it still is ident- It's a weird play. I think that he should have taken that off. But you end up going and you end up where the, I like where, where Peter's there and this nurse is like, yeah, you know, that's Spider-Boy. 
pretty cool, but you know who's a piece of like everybody's a piece of crap. In this. Like who's a, that Spider Man's an a hole, and yeah, he's like yeah, look at he's endangering a child. Peter's looking at us on that, that paddle. He's like <laughs> so mad. He's like another J. Jonah Jameson here. Huh? Yeah, really. I'm a menace, am I? So he ends up where it looks like Bailey will be okay. And this is a nice uh, – things are kind of crammed in. This is a weird issue of a lot of different things going on where then Peter comes in. Bailey's like, oh, man, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gotten involved. But then Peter tries to make him feel better and says that in that other life that he talked about before where he wasn't Spider-Man, in that deal, he jumped in front of the bullet to save. Uncle Ben. So he ended up saying it, you know, here I had great power, no responsibility, but there I didn't have any power, but I jumped in front of it. And you know what my Uncle Ben said? That I was a hero. And I do like when Bailey says, Am I still your sidekick? And he says, No, you're my hero. And then Bailey smiles. And then I thought Peter was going to continue with him. By the way, you aren't my sidekick because I just got shade thrown at me by some nurse. Yeah. He was screaming and yelling at me. Ixnay on the sidekick. Yeah, everybody's mad at him about that. But uh, yeah, like, <laughs> we don't let's know not each talk other. Talk about that. Like, yeah, really. And again, you don't really want to be around the whole play. The doctor says Dan Slott tries to make says, "Oh, he wanted to see you." And I think Peter's like Peter's ready to flip out. Like he just, you know, my identity's done. Like, why would he want to see me? Like he thinks Bailey went. I want to see Peter Parker Spider Man. But mm-hmm. he said, "I want to see the guy who brought me in." The guy who saved me. So it works out because Peter does kind of take a step back at one point. Like, what? What did he say? Oh, he said that you were. Oh, OK, that's better. I won't have to kill him now. Yeah. Peter was ready to put the pillow over his head. Or oh, something. yeah. The pillow was going right there. <laughs> like, listen, just be quiet. <laughs> this will be over the second. So he he's there. Bailey's OK. Anna still is kept, but we got to do something about it. He is going to try to figure that out. He's like, OK, clock's ticking, Parker. Anna Maria needs you. But where do I even start? I don't know the first thing about Supernova. How do I even find her without? He's going to say Doc Ock or information, whatever. But Doc Ock shows up. He gets it's it's a cool play. You get that duel. I like when you get Peter and he has the spider sense and you see the half mask. Be a cool uh, actual uh, Halloween costume. Have like the spider the sense mask. go in there and have yeah. the half mask, but have Good. the things kind of float in there. Be really neat. People wouldn't know what that meant though. There'd be some weird reactions, I think, but. Doc Ock comes in. I love that he does not want to team up with Peter, but Anna's in trouble and he doesn't get that's his deal. I like that he just throws up the crumpled up suit, <laughs> just <laughs> throws it at Peter and says, suit up in the superior well, Spider Man suit. Get going, buddy. It's so kind of convenient because cool. because Peter doesn't have his costume. I mean, he's like, I ah, can I run to my apartment and get my actual costume real fast rather than wearing this. This is the play this week, it seems, is well, team ups. Is kind of the deal, but villains teaming up with heroes is, is pretty much the spidey way this week. So you have that. It's okay. I said a lot of things get crammed in with each other, but some of the stuff I do like. I like the bit with Bailey and Peter. That was nice. I do like that Doc Ock is so desperate because it's Anna. That's a cool play. It is what Dan Slott will always do. And anybody will do with Doc Ock, but that's the play. And also, Peter has the connection too. So he wants to save her. And then you have Supernova who. Might want to try to be a hero, but just doesn't know how and is just pissed off, just completely pissed off. And I said, if if you end up coming out of a chamber like that, and in your mind, Spider-Man is what did that, I don't know how you can ever think of yourself as a hero. You you think the heroes are bullcrap. You may think you're the hero yourself, but mm-hmm. you know the idea of one of the best heroes is the one who did that in your mind. That's just why would you want to be a hero? Then? So I, I do like that, but what would you give this? I like this, you know, better than the the regular Amazing Spider-Man for sure. I think I'm about the same. Give this one an 8.5. Yeah, I'm still a 7.5. I know I'm higher than you on it. The big story is Supernova, and I think that's the least interesting. It's just the second issue. I'm like, I kind of hope that Supernova gets taken care of. I like it enough. I just wonder why also do we need two books with Spider-Boy in it? That's a weird play as well. Hey, all you weirdos, if you like comic book shows, podcasts, videos, please check the description of this video where you can see links to all of our podcast shows, websites, all of that. And if you want to help us out for everything that we do, you can click on that Patreon link in the upper left-hand corner and check out our Patreon where you can go right now and get a seven-day free trial to see all the stuff that we do, shows that are Marvel, DC, Indie, Manga, 
and even more. So check all that out, and I'll talk to you all later. Weird Science is the revolution.